whether you're working on research or making a project for university or for a firm, you probably want to output part of your findings. And summary statistics are so fundamental in providing information on your sample and how it works. You'll probably have to go through this quite often. For this reason, you really want to automize the exporting of the summary statistics, as opposed to copy pasting everything manually from Stata in whatever program that you're using. And for that reason, I'll teach you today how to export summary statistics efficiently. So if we open back up our Stata, where we have the data set where we started last time, we have the household debt to GDP ratio and other variables related to the date. Now, what I recommend you to do when exporting this information is by looking at a user made command. Stata provides a whole range of possibilities and very powerful commands. But the user made command asked out is particularly powerful when exporting summary statistics. So let's take a look at how that exactly goes about. In order to use a user based command, you'd have to install that command first because it's not in Stata by default. There are two ways how to do that. The first one is download the code and import it manually using Edo files. This is slightly more complicated, but if you have access to internet, there is an easier way out. All you have to do is type the following. SSC install, which means open up the online data set where all of the packages are listed and install a file. Then you install the file est out, which is the file that you actually want to install. And in my case, I put a replace behind it because I already have it and I want to and I want it to update what I already have and then replace the old version. So now my computer will search the Internet for this file and install it accordingly. And then I'll get a message that it has already been installed and that it's now been replaced. So now we have the user based command. Then the next thing you want to do consists of two steps. First, you want to estimate using the est post command the actual information that you're going to need. So you would use s post summarize and then the variable that you want to have. Say I want to have these three variables. Then we get a slightly different version of the previous summary, summary statistics command with the following information. Again, the number of observations, the mean, variance, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, and the combined value of all of these items by variable that you use. So this basically stores them in the est out command. And then if you want to use this subsequently, you would use the est tap command. As this one is a little bit more complicated, I'll go over it in detail. So est out for generating and storing information, est tab for exporting it to whatever you'd like. So the stab command consists of multiple things. First, you need to set the location where you want the file to be saved. There, you use this as you would use for most things in Stata using the using abbreviation as given here. So stab, which means output the information using this following location. There are ways how to shorten this. I'll get through that in another video. And then you have your file name and you also need to put in the extension of the file which tells Stata what type of file you want. You could have a rich, rich text file or you could simply make yourself an Excel file. And then you need to tell Stata what information you actually want to have. So you would open up a cells which generates the amount of information that you want to have. And I want to have the number of observations, the count, round it, to zero decimals, then the mean rounded to two decimals, the standard deviation, minimum and maximum. And for all of the variables, I want to have the information of the label, which is here and not the variable description. And then I want to replace the already existing file if it exists so that you can run it multiple times without the file crashing. So then you press this command and it will automatically generate the file that you'd like to have. Because I entered the replace code, it first checks, is the file already there? Then if so, it deletes it and replaces it. But in this case, it tells me it's not found. So we don't already have to file. So it makes us a new one. Now you have just exported 
your data to Excel. So thank you all so much for listening and watching this tutorial. I hope that you learned how to export your summary statistics to Excel or a text tech file or a rich text file in a way that is quite efficient. Thank you for listening and until the next tutorial.